Hello everybody, it is Millie Trader with The Art of Being Reacts coming to you with, well, I don't know what time zone you're in right now, but right here, it's almost time for bed. But before I go to bed, I'm here, I'm lounged out, ready to unwind with the diva because she's been doing a lot of caution promotion on interviews, daytime, nighttime, radio shows, and I'm here for all of them. This is probably the first one I'll be watching. I'm a tiny bit late. It's Mariah Carey interview on the new album Caution Live with Kelly and Ryan. This was a couple days before Thanksgiving. So I'm very happy to see this. So let's see what the diva's up to. Did you get the new album yet? I bet it's, I know it's bad. I had it. It's great. Fisher's also here. But now. Yeah, she, I know, guys. Guys, settle yourselves, all right? calm down. Don't panic. The diva. A songwriter, a producer, and a legendary singer. Please welcome legendary. back to the show, I knew she was coming out. I'm still shocked, though. Ooh, she looks good. She looks good. She looks like a little thing, a little young thing. You go ahead, girl. Y'all know Mariah live in New York. She probably just, you know, well, she probably didn't drive. Had her driver just drive around the corner real quick. She looks super cute. Oh, Mariah is so, like, on point, you know, with her style. I love it. Simple, black, elegant. She's too kind this Holy cow. I got to tell you that your fans are so devoted. I don't know what time they all lined up here. I like Ryan's sneakers. They are. Now, we are the lamb. Thanksgiving is upon us. Yes. Yay. What does Mariah I'm so curious. For Thanksgiving. I Take mean, through it. You know, it's all about Christmas for me. We have to. Right. That said. Right. This year we're gonna be family and friends. We have a mutual friend, Christopher Buckle. We're planning a whole extravaganza. Mm -hmm. You're doing it together. An yes. extravaganza. So Thanksgiving extravaganza. Yes. I mean, it's a prelude to Christmas, it's a launch of course. For the Christmas yeah. Season, yeah, it really yeah. is. It's yeah. a jumping off point. Yes. And then, and and so, I mean, how many times a day, mm -hmm. conservatively, her questions would are you funny say already. Your Christmas album plays in your house because <laughs> in, my, in your house, it is truly the only. It's the only. It's really our. We have a Mariah Carey station. Get it together, Kelly. Around the holidays. Well, I do have two she Christmas albums, them. so I made it easy for people if they wanted variety. But one is the 25th anniversary 25th. next yes, year? Yes, next year. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. So this year I'm going to do shows in Europe. The Christmas shows, which I usually do here at the Beacon Theater, and we're right. taking it on the road, doing some festive, uh, okay. we'll be in Paris and London and all those places. And are you taking the kids with you? Yeah, they're world yes. travelers. They, they like they, it? Yeah, they love it. They gotta love it. We take just got the back children. Asia, which was like... Hey, yeah. tell me about... So many people, let me get, help me, me. Yes. So many people talk a whole lot of junk about Mariah. Oh, why is her kids, like, around, blah, blah, blah. I'm like... That's the mother. She's supposed to be around the children. Anyway, let's get back to it. Oh, yeah, so I was on my Asian tour. The kids were with me. They were like, we did everything from making dumplings to, See? I mean, they made a hot culture. tub a slip and slide. They culture for her children. In China. They loved it. Right? Did we have some video of that? Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. What's Rocky, up, Ni Hao, China? Rocky, what did you just say before about China? China is amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I love his Dalmatian t-shirt. I want that. It's a really gorgeous. I mean, I'm just thinking that. I mean, I, I'm, I'm so excited for Rocky to have that vista. Oh, my gosh. Now he, he has fun wherever he goes. He's yeah. a little comedian. And, and Roro is great. Yeah. Aww, you know? Do they have Roro. your... Do you, do they have the voice? Do, do you know yet? I mean, it's so early to... They love... Being around music, yeah. being around the band and the singers, and like you know, coming to re Monroe's always like, I want to go to rehearsal. She okay. likes going to rehearsal. Yeah. And um, Rocky 
is already saying he wants to be a comedian, so we'll see. Oh, so, Lordy. When were they first exposed to the music of Mariah? At birth. Yeah. At birth? Well, I think about it probably in, in well, Europe. You know, right? you know the thing that they had, well, I don't know what they're doing with this now, but there was like an iPad when they when I was pregnant with them that you can strap around your belly and like get them to have the vibrations of music. I don't know what to believe about did it. Did you do but that? I did, of course. That's cute. And then when you... In yeah, the I had you on 8-track. <laughs> 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 no, but in the delivery room, you can make a playlist. And, like, when you have twins, it's the whole thing. I don't want to get into the gory details, but it's, they cut you open and stuff. Right. And um, so I made a playlist, and I had them like. when they were first born. They came out to fantasy, the live version from Madison Square Garden, Ooh. with the applause. So I wanted them to feel the applause. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. That's incredible. Yeah, now they don't even know that song, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they will know it again, though. They definitely yeah. will. When Rocky, we hear, is, is someone not to be messed with. In a, yeah, in a way, right? You don't really want to mess with him. He took on my whole uh, band in an arm wrestle the other night. Oh, at no dinner. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we were. Somewhere in Asia. Let's see if yeah. we have it here. Oh. <laughs> oh, she is not even trying to let him win. She's just posing on you, Rock. Come on, get it, Rock. Oh. That's her son. She wanted to make sure he worked for it. See? It's pretty amazing. It's I know, really right? It's the Mariah floor, darling. It was a very nice floor, darling. They, I, I just want them to not get used to all of that. Like, they have to know the other side of yeah. it. Yeah, too. right. So, you know. Well, that's for when they're adults. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm trying now, but it's it's hard. But, you know, they're enjoying it. All right, so it's very safe. Right where you are. Yay! So give us a little of background on why you decided to name it Caution. Well, For it was real. going to be called Portrait originally, mm -hmm. which is another mm -hmm. song from the album that's more of like an introspective. It's a really good song that I'm very proud of. And, um, Me too. It's kind good. of like a, a very sad song in a way, but it's also one of those songs that would like help other people going through stuff or whatever. I try to do that on, on you know, various albums that I've had. But then I was like, you know, it's not fully representative of the whole album. So the last uh, song that I recorded in the Bahamas in this gorgeous studio called Albany um, with a hot tub and all this other kind of stuff, I highly recommend it. Anyway, um, we record our album. When you guys definitely go there. I'll yeah. eat the water. Um, yes. And so I recorded this song there and it kind of had like a tropical vibe too. It's got like a Spanish guitar. Kind oh, of yeah. I did it with right. no ID and um, covered with my friend Prince Charles. It's one of my favorites off the album. And it was proceed with caution is kind of like the, the message. Yeah. And um, so I just thought caution was a cute name. And we got a little, you know, got creative with the caution tape. And a lot of the fans had the caution tape. Yes, and were, I like, love it. Posting stuff with that. It was I want to buy a caution how, tape. How do you go about, because I don't think a lot of people know that you are really, you really write your songs mm -hmm. and music. And how, what is that process like? Because they say, like, you have to, to be a good songwriter, you have to suffer to understand the suffering. You know, because I always think songs just sort of, relate to me in some way uh -huh. because it just happened that way I, I never really think about the songwriter aspect of it mm. well my that's a good question kelly always, i would listen to the radio mm. when i was growing up loved music mm. loved all the songs and i assumed that everybody wrote their songs yeah. because I didn't know where else they would come from. Right. And then I started doing demos and stuff when I was like 12 years old. I was a demo singer, I was a backup singer, I did all that kind of stuff. And then I realized, oh, they're making me do songs that I don't like, but they're paying me for it, so I'll do it, I don't care. Um, and then when I got my record deal a couple years later, it was like, you know, but I want to write my own songs. Like, this is what I do. I had started writing at like 15 and working mm -hmm. with different musicians. And so now I'm very excited about this Songwriters Hall of Fame nomination. I mean, it's huge. <laughs> Come on, give it to the diva now. You already won, Mimi. Don't even worry about like it. Some of your early music on the radio when I was. I will say, like the Songwriters Hall of Fame. I heard about that a while ago, earlier this year. Dog, are you okay? He's fine. I think he's got the hiccups or something. He's got doggy hiccups. He's all right. Bye. <laughs> He still has them. Uh, mm. But yes, I feel like Mariah already is a Hall of Fame writer to me. Um, 
But I know it's important sometimes to the artist to get that recognition, especially from your peers and such. So I really hope she gets it, too, because I know she's going to turn out and act a mess on that red carpet. I can't wait. I hope she wins. But you've already won in my heart, Diva. Right here. See, we caution. That's my jam. That's Atlanta, me. and I've seen fans react to you over the years. How do you how do you stay on top for all of these years? What is it that, that you try mm. and think about or do? That's to, a good to question. To just do what you do. Be actually talented. Well, first of all, thank you for playing the music over these years. <laughs> oh. Um, and not everybody knows your radio background, but I did know that. Yeah. Um, and I love that because, again, I like, grew up loving radio. Um, I think you just have to love music, love what you do, and really be immersed in it. Mm. Um, and it's something that it's not like, I feel like I don't have a choice. I have to make music. Going mm -hmm. back into the studio for this album was therapeutic mm. in so many ways and it was just like it's it's what i love to do if i didn't do that i don't know what i would do i also mm. think that you're um so good to your fans who have been so good to you and My i think that that is. yeah what they so. did with the glitter soundtrack i know yay i gotta get that soundtrack years later, right? Oh my God. And the numbers. fans are like, you know what? Let's make glitter number one. And they did. And they did. Yeah. They did. It was a movement. And I think a lot of it, and I've been saying this, a lot of it's because I wasn't doing the songs from Glitter, and I would always be like, don't talk about it, don't mention Aww. it, it almost ruined my life. But um, <laughs> the truth is, it's, it's a good soundtrack. Loving the fans for making, the, uh, for everything, but especially for this most yes. recent moment. Yay. Yay. Yeah, to see you live coming up in the new year. On the You're Caution Tour, yeah. Tour, right? Oh my album. gosh. I'm so excited. This is a Caution Tour? I'm going. Are you going? One or two. I'm yeah, going. You, have to. you must. You must. Got the power. Well, it's great to see you, Mariah. Thanks so for coming. Yay! Oh she looks like such a doll. Such a doll. Yo, this chick uh, Kelly is really, really hype for Mariah. She can hardly get out her questions and things. I understand, Kelly. First of all, your little top is cute. She still looks good. I haven't seen this show in a long time. Like, for real, since, like, Regis was on here. So, um, I guess Ryan's hosting it now That's with her. That's good. I don't know much about Ryan outside of Idol and some of his radio stuff. Um, but the diva is who I'm here for. And the diva looks fantastic. I love she's got her curls blown out. A nice, sleek, slick, youthful look. She does youthful well. She does freshness well. I like her all sophisticated, like a little lady. And the pumps, darling. Oh, my God. She's giving everybody life with just the toes. Go, Mariah. Go. I couldn't have been Kelly, though. If I knew I was, like, interviewing Mariah, I would have on a gown. Just because it's that serious to me. The diva is present. I know she gonna look good, so I'm gonna have on a gown. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by The Art of Being. This is me reacting to the diva's interview live with Kelly and Ryan. Thank you so much to Tori Max <laughs> for posting this video. Thank you guys. Have a good day, night, weekend, or holiday. Bye. <laughs> she was cracking me up here. Oh, man, to be asked so many daggone questions about my life in a short period of time and to be able to keep it together. They people ask about your children, all your business. Wow. You know, celebs, they just have to hold it together, do a lot of not being themselves, but being themselves. I bet that's very hard. Anyway, I will catch you guys later. Bye.